Hey everyone, Deborah with Pinching Pesos here, and we're gonna share some treasures. I went to Goodwill and Savers yesterday. Um, I can't say that I did a lot of research while I was there. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to like look stuff up. So sometimes I just put things in my cart and buy it. So a lot of that um, from Goodwill is like that. I didn't look up the tennis shoes I bought, um, I quickly kind of looked up the other shoes that I bought. I didn't find the pair that I had. I, I think I did 15 seconds worth of research. I was just like, eh. Um, I was basically just kind of going off of experience and, and just, you know, I had in the back of my mind, like, okay, if these are a really crappy buy, I can just bring them back. So, um, yeah. So, the values on most of this stuff, you're going to find out at the same time I do because I didn't really do a lot of research. So I, oh, dang, I should have gotten the receipts all together. I just woke up at like 10 o'clock. So I'm not even like awake yet. Like my voice is still raspy. Good morning, people. Um, <clears throat> but I just, I needed to do this now because otherwise I wasn't going to have a haul video at all because I need to get I need to get the stuff listed. So my plan today for the remainder of the day is to take pictures. I'm doing a picture taking marathon and that worked out really well for me <clears throat> week before last where all I did is take a bunch of pictures. I was just taking pictures and putting stuff in a, you know, plastic tote and and then the next day I sat there and I just listed the stuff. So it it worked out really nicely. And my daughter, my nine-year-old, loves to crop my photos. That's like her job. She got really mad at me like um, two weeks ago because she came in here and she was like, oh, what are you doing? Are you cropping photos? And I was like, yeah. And she like scrunched up her face. And I was like, I only had like 15 or 20 to do. And then she like turned around and like walked away because <laughs> like, like I, I had taken her job. She was really upset about it. So she'll be super duper happy about this um, because I will have a ton of photos for her to crop down for me. And she does it while she's watching Disney Channel. So free child labor. Let me go ahead and look at the chat and see who all we have here today. Um, cool Toads, Sean. How you doing, bud? I heard you're back on eBay. That's so awesome. I'm so glad to have you back. I think I got rid of my flare hair when I was cleaning my office. And I was like, oh, I don't need this anymore. And then now you're back. What the heck, dude? Now I don't have my hair. It's okay. Oh, there's a new name in the chat, or at least I haven't noticed it before. Hi, fairy treasures, my fairy treasures. Um, it looks like she does crafting videos. Very cool, and lots of them. Check her out. You can hover over people's names in the chats, and it'll bring up a little side window of their um, YouTube, if they have a YouTube. So that's incredible. Hey, Henry. Um, <laughs> Sean says, no, not the hair. Yeah, I, uh, and then, um, let's see. Hold on, I scrolled up. And then Stefan Rhode Island says, I've never caught a sh show live. So welcome, everybody. I know it's kind of impromptu, but like I said, if I didn't do it now, it wasn't going to happen. So let's get to it. Um, my eye is still watering. When I wake up in the mornings, like my eye will water. And so when I used to have hangouts, like first thing in the morning, um, Chad or Ronnie would be like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And they're like, you're crying. And I'm like, no, no, my eye just waters. <laughs> so, okay. So, okay. Look at, okay. Look at what I found. If you watched my sales update on, what did I do it? yesterday Monday right because I'm trying to catch up I'm way behind I found another hot hoops 
I just sold one for $29.95. This one was $2.99. I had a 15% off coupon um, because I had two bags, three bags in my trunk of stuff that was just like my daughter's old shoes. And it was just like three actually savers bags. I had put the stuff back into a savers bag. And so I got 15% off coupon. And they're doing savings passes right now. So I'm like $20 away from saving 30%. That stuff really adds up. I always keep donations in my trunk. So that way I can drop them off at savers. So let's see what's in here. I shook it while I was there. And I can hear balls in there. So I know it has some balls. I don't know how many it has. But I have balls from my other one that I harvested. Let's see. Golly, guys. Tape this up good. Okay. So, this one looks old. This looks older than the one I had. And it's got one ball that doesn't belong. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So here's an original ball. I'm going to ball cover. Yeah, this is a slightly different model than the one that I sold. Here's two, it has two balls. Because this one has where I hear another ball in here. There's another ball somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Inside of the scene. It. Anyway, the one I had didn't have this. This has like a where it goes down, the balls on the other one that I had went inside of the middle and came out of a little shoot. Oh, wait, does it go this way? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm looking at it wrong. There we go. That's the way. But mine still didn't do it like that, I don't think. And this is kind of yellowed, too. What they... Does anybody know how to get yellow plastic? I know I saw somebody talk about it. About um, yellow plastic that you can clean it, but I don't know how. Was it like orange glow? Or... I got a ball stuck in here. Anyway. Um... So, it has three balls, so I have a ball to put in there. Jeff Davin says has put toothpaste on it. Rub a lot of toothpaste on it. So, I'll try that. But I think the majority of the machine is yellowed, so I'm not probably going to worry about it. And I might just list this one for, like, $19.95 instead of $29.95 like I had the other one. All right, next up. Okay, this was actually from Saturday, and I bought this for my daughter. She wanted it. Um, we have a lot of boppets at our house. I picked them up at the thrift store, and it's just something that we all kind of like doing. Um, even my husband likes to play with the boppets. And um, you, for me being somebody that gets easily annoyed, like I can't. I have a, a pet peeve that I can't listen to the same noises over and over again. So if a song repeats or something on TV is repeating over and over, or like those commercials that are like, call five, six, seven, eight, two, nine, three, call five, six, seven, eight, two, nine. Ugh, I'm like, I hate you. My daughter's kind of the same way. She doesn't like things that repeat, but we do like the bop it. Surprise, surprise. Um, and I didn't look it up. I had in the back of my mind knowing that bop it's are kind of worth something. But um, I saw it sitting over here, and I wanted to um, show you guys that they actually are worth something. I won't be selling selling this, but um, no. 
I swear this share has gotten so messed up on YouTube. Okay, so these are Bop It Extremes. I have a Bop It Extreme 2. But if you can find, which looks almost exactly the same, but if you look here, the Bop It's are going anywhere from, let me just sort it, used, you're going for $39.99 for the Bop It Extreme, and then here's some lots of them, and then here's two Bop It's together, and then this is the Bop It Extreme 2, so this is like the one I have, they have it for $22.99 plus shipping, this one's $23.74 plus shipping, <clears throat> combos they put together, 22 plus shipping. So you can see that they actually have a decent sell-through rate. Let me look at the original Boppets and see um, what they got going on. So people are lotting them together, doing them separately. Here's a Boppet XT. These are all used. These are used condition. I didn't click on the new ones. The new ones actually do sell pretty well. This is a newer model. They just sell. Oh, it says 2008. It totally looks like the one they have at Target. <clears throat> if you can find the new ones, let's look at those. I'll go with new. We can find like an old stock new one. Like that one went for $89. This one went on $100 best offer, $70, $60, $70. So the new ones are still doing pretty well too. But the used ones you kind of find at the store. So if you can sell them for $20 plus, that's pretty good, I think. But we'll probably end up keeping this one. We have, a, we have probably five different versions of Boppets at my house. Because I, I buy them at the thrift store. Joni says, my husband would drive you crazy. He sings the same one, two, three lines of a song all day long. Yes, he would. We couldn't. Um, me and your husband could not be friends. Or we could be friends. We just couldn't hang out. Which I don't think you would mind anyway. So Wait, That's okay, Deb. You don't got to hang out with my husbands. Hey, Tanyos. All right. Okay, next up. I'm sorry. I'm still getting myself together. I'm like... Sleeping. I got another soda stream. This one has a tank in it. I always keep watch for the tanks. And it does actually have air in it. I don't know how much. And I've been trying to figure out if there's a way to figure out how full the tanks are. Um, because then you can essentially just say it's a quarter of the way full. It's a three quarters of the way full. Um... I didn't look this one up. I was just going directly off of the fact that it has a full-size tank in it, not the starter tank, but a full-size tank in it, and it still had compressed air in it. It was only $6.99. Um, I don't know what model this is. They don't really put model numbers on them, do they? I don't know why my nose just started watering. My nose started watering. That's not a word, is it? started getting sniffly. So soda streams. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. So that way you guys know whenever you're at the store what you got going on. I talked in a previous video about the penguin ones. And um, actually right after I talked about that, somebody over in the reseller stew said that they found one and four glass bottles. And I thought that was amazing. Um I guess a topic that I brought up on that um, episode or show or whatever it was, was that the plastic bottles, I had no idea, have a year expiration date. So I know people say, oh, well, it's just a plastic bottle. But apparently it has something to do with leaching. And also um, they said that they can damage your machine, that there's something about the bottles that after a while something deteriorates and they can actually damage your machine. Um, so let's just go ahead and share what is going on in the world of soda streams on eBay right now. <clears throat> I 
this is the penguin one I was talking about. If you ever see this one, go ahead and get it. It's worth really good money. And then these are the glass bottles that go with it. Um, it looks like some of the higher end models of soda streams. These are all used because, you know, we, we thrift store shops. So these are all used. I'll go ahead and just put it on sold instead of completed. And I have this sorted by highest to lowest because I want to know what things are selling for on the high end. And obviously penguins are the highest. Oh, that looks like an Instagram picture. So on the Soda Stream Avenue, <coughs> obviously if they have the can canister, then they're going to be worth more money because the canisters can be exchanged in, and I believe it costs $14.95 for you to get a uh, full one. So I wonder, just for the sake of research, I saw one of these red ones yesterday, but it didn't have the bottom. This little piece doesn't really like snap in or anything. Why did they charge $51 in shipping? Good gracious. Um, the little piece doesn't really snap in. It just sits there. And so typically, I think at the thrift store, whenever they're just throwing donations into the like a collection bin, that little piece falls out. And so... Almost every single soda stream I see that's like this red one doesn't have the little bottom base. <clears throat> okay, so this is like the one that I have. Went for $25 plus $41 in shipping. <laughs> um, good gracious. It would cost me like less than 15 bucks to ship this thing. Um, and that one has two empty carbonators. Two bottles in the thing. Here's another one, 26 plus, plus $40 in shipping. They got some really high shipping on these things, guys. 40 bucks? Man. Y'all need to, like, make friends with FedEx. Totally make some friends with FedEx. I saw a guy at the post office yesterday, and he had these huge boxes. They were like the Lowe's large boxes and Lowe's medium boxes. And he's sending them to Pennsylvania. And I was like, man, you really should have gone over to FedEx. I wanted to tell him so bad. Because he's like spending hundreds of dollars in postage. And I'm just like, you could have totally just gone to FedEx. But... All right, so this is what's going up on the soda stream front. Looks like 30, 40 bucks, 20, 30, 40 bucks. <clears throat> this is the general. Nobody's doing free shipping on these things. So whatever you charge is plus shipping. I think people are used to it. This one's got free shipping, but it's 50 bucks. So anyway, lots of soda streams. Let me check the chat real quick. Uh, can it be mailed with the canister? Yes, it can, but it needs to go ground. It has to go completely ground. So it needs to go parcel select and be appropriately labeled. Or it needs to go like FedEx ground um, where it doesn't go on a plane. They can't go on planes. Let's see. Kimberly says, did you try to run water down the tank and then run your hand down it and then find the coldest area? Are they cold like that? Ow. This one doesn't feel as heavy as my other one. This one has to be pretty used. So if I run water over it, I should be able to tell. I can probably just take it to the sporting goods store over here that does um, airsoft 
canisters and get them to like test it for me. I was looking up because I was going to keep that other one. Um, I actually am keeping that other one because my house goes through carbonated water, like sparkling water, like crazy. So I was thinking about keeping that other one that I bought. Um, and I contemplated buying one of those adapters. You can buy an adapter that goes on top of here. And then you can just have the sporting goods store fill up your canister for like a couple bucks. But, okay, this isn't going in there. Can you explain how you handle international shipping refunds? I'm scared. Um, you handle it the same way you handle any other refund. Um, however you handle your domestic refunds, your international refunds are done the same. Uh, the difference comes in in that if it's an INAD, you know, item not as described, then you are paying Buku shipping on that item to be returned and you're losing your original shipping. So it can be pretty pricey on an international return. Uh, that's why I switched over to global shipping program on everything besides Australia, Canada, and the UK. <clears throat> if it's going first class. And if it's an item that I'm willing to risk it on. But I went global shipping program just because it, it knocked out the <coughs> item wasn't received, item was damaged, item whatever. Um, I kind of let eBay handle that. I did my own international shipping for a really long time, but I am... Um, I don't know. I think it's it's just been kind of a peace of mind thing to just like let eBay handle it at this point. I don't really like dealing with it anymore. It's not something that I care to deal with. So I ship my all of my stuff to Canada, to the UK, and to Australia. Those are kind of safe countries, and they can be insured and they have door to door tracking. So, all right, next. I bought another Breville juicer. <clears throat> I was talking about this. I, I did an eBay radio on Tuesday, and I was totally freaked out. Like, I didn't even know I was going to be on until about two hours beforehand because I um because I sent all my information in late, so I didn't know that I was actually going to be on that Tuesday. But I was, and so I was going to be on talking about parts. And on the show, they actually brought up my some of the Breville parts that I had listed. And I ended up finding another one. But this is a different model. So this is a Breville juice fountain. JE95XL. And it has all the pieces. Here's the receptacle thingy. This was actually on another shelf. I had to find this. Um, so let's go ahead and look it up. I feel like I'm in slow motion today. I probably am. I think I did this too early. Right after I woke up. Rebel. So here's the sold juice fountains, like I have. I don't have the little canister, like juice receptacle. <coughs> $51 in shipping. Sorry. I get totally shocked when I see some of these shipping prices. And I'm like, I've got a customer, like, knocking me on 79 cents, you know? <laughs> Anyway, so this is the unit that I have. I just don't have this little receptacle here. I wonder if I should just sell this one whole. Let me go ahead and look the other direction. We'll go lowest. Well, that's a nice photo. So these are all pieces parts. So it looks like the plunger's going for 13. The little blade's going for 10. Yeah, I wouldn't sell the plunger. So 15 and 50, that's 30. I don't have one of these. 
Um, so now there's 18, 30, so that's 60. Yeah, that's $60, 75. So we're looking at $75 parted out. You know, it's funny, I just started doing this, not taking these crappy pictures, this is my gallery photo, but I just started as I was, um, as I list things, I take uh, the title and I just copy it over to my Dymo program and I put it on a sticky label and I just stick it to the item. So that way it's not, I don't get my parts confused because some parts look very similar. I have one of these. Why isn't somebody bought mine? I think mine's cheaper than this. Don't you hate that when you're like, mine's cheaper. Why did theirs sell? Yeah, so I guess for $75 in parts. Oh, wow. And the base sells too. So even if I sold it for $30 free shipping, right? So that's like 15 bucks plus shipping. So even, so that's a hundred dollars. That's over a hundred dollars <throat> in parts. Or I can sell it for 45 whole. Yeah, I'll part it out. Parts, 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 parts. Let me do some parts, 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 parts. All right, next up. Okay, so on my video from last Saturday's haul, I bought that Nesco uh, ice crusher. And somebody in the comments said, oh, Nesco's a really good brand. They make food dehydrators. I'd never heard of them before. Well, la-di-da. Look what I found. This was at Savers. Um, I paid... It was twelve ninety nine minus fifteen percent, so ten bucks, ten fifty, whatever. And I don't know if it's new or not. I went ahead and got it, knowing that if it's all messed up inside, I can just take it back. I don't make a lot of returns, actually. I think I've only returned one thing. Okay, so it is used. And when I was doing my pricing research, I looked at the used stuff. I didn't look at the new. And Come out. Oh, it has the instructions down here. That's always good. If it doesn't have the instructions, I always print the instructions. You can go to manual library. Um, and a lot of times the uh, manuals will be there if it's not on the manufacturer's website. Printing out the instructions and saying has printed instructions will get you better price, especially on Amazon. So, oh, this is looking good. Okay, so we're all good on this. Let's look this up. Back in the box. Um, Louis is asking, I just started using global shipping program. Why did you exclude the countries you mentioned? Um, Canada is one that you should ship to yourself anyway. Uh, the way that the global shipping program is set up, and I, I think I know why, but it's just a theory. But the customers in Canada end up being charged like duty and import fees, things that they aren't responsible for paying. I have a feeling it's because of the origin country that we put on the label, like where the item is made. So it makes it seem like it's coming from another country besides the United States because they shouldn't have to pay for that, you know, uh, import fee from the U.S. to Canada, but they do. And so Canada is one of those ones that the customers end up getting really jacked over. Plus, unless you're shipping priority mail, you, the, the uh, global shipping program, because global shipping program ships priority. Customers get charged priority shipping, and they receive their items sooner. But Canada's right there, and it has door-to-door -door tracking. 
and first class is the cheapest for international first class that there is. So going ahead and just shipping to Canada yourself is highly recommended and the customers will greatly appreciate it. Um, I have a video about it. If you look, uh, if you do a search for like, just look, do a search for GSP um, you know, on my channel and you'll find the video and I explain it and I go over it with you. But recently <clears throat> after that, I went ahead and added back on the UK and Australia because the UK also has, but they do have to pay duty. And the problem that I have with some of their customers over time is that they don't want to go and pay the taxes that, that they're supposed to pay on their packages. And then it's just sitting at the post office and it gets sent back to me. Because I've actually had over time, I've had at least five customers tell me they didn't want to pay their fees that they're supposed to pay to their post office. Um, and then I've had customers say, oh, it says it's delivered, but it's not here. And it's because it was at their post office waiting on them to go pay their fees. And then I've had customers say, I didn't know I was supposed to pay the fees, even though eBay tells them two times that they are responsible for paying their fees. So after so many times of just having issues with some of the people, I decided I didn't want to ship to them, you know, myself. But recently I had some smaller items that shipped. And they should have only really been charged like $13 in shipping. And it ended up costing them like 30 bucks. And I was just like, I can't, you know, I can't do that to my customer. So I ended up changing a lot of my shipping where I would ship to the UK, Australia, and Canada. Um, if you ever have any issues where you don't want to ship first class, you can ship priority mail. And it will have tracking to all the country, pretty much all the countries, majority. And it's insured up to 200 bucks. But you can get insurance through ShipSaver for a dollar, a dollar for every hundred dollars. Um, so I was just insure it. So I ended up adding a $1 paneling fee to cover the insurance. And I just decided I would go ahead and just ship to Canada, the UK and Australia. Because I felt bad for my um, UK customers that were paying too much because it's going priority, even though it only weighs like eight ounces. Okay. I don't even know what I was doing here. Oh, I was looking up a Nesco food dehydrator. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right, so the Nesco food dehydrator um, is, I don't know why it's not letting me go back to best match for some reason. <laughs> Okay, used. So the Nesco food dehydrator that I have, it's an FD60, and these are used. Looks like it's going for about $70, because this is shipping, that's got $46 in shipping, and got free shipping. So it looks like it's going for about $70 with the shipping. This one's 60, that one's 16. <clears throat> so I could easily probably price this, um, you know, $34.95 plus shipping. I can probably, I can ship this for about $15. It's not super heavy. It's just kind of dimensional weight. So it shouldn't be any more than 15 bucks FedEx. And, um, yeah, so I think I can price this at about $34.95. And that's a competitive. If I wasn't being competitive like I am now, where I'm just trying to do quicker flips and be more competitively priced, I would have typically priced this at $49.95 plus shipping. But I'm going to go ahead and put it at $34.95 plus shipping and then just um, get it out. Get it out of here. Okay, next. Did I sell something? Nope, that's a message. 
I had my post office. It's from a customer. I had a. I dropped off seven packages at the post office, and three of them got scanned in as delivered. And so I went by the post office yesterday morning to sort it out and make sure that the items actually left. And so if you ever have that happen, it's never going to update the tracking. It's always just going to show it was delivered. You need to contact your customer and let them know that there was an error made by the post office. And instead of being scanned in as accepted, it was scanned in as delivered. How And that the tracking's not going to update on the public site. It's going to say delivered and there's nothing else they're going to see. If they don't receive their package by the time that it should be there, so what I told my customers is by Friday. It was like, if you don't get your package by Friday, <clears throat> the post office advised me to tell you, you can go to your post office, give them the tracking number, and they are able to track it on their internal system. So even though it's showing as delivered on our side, in the internal post office system, it will show all the subsequent scans and so they'll be able to see. And so in their system, it did show that my package had left that post office, went to the main post office, was on its way out of Austin. Um, but on the regular post office website, it just shows delivered. And so that's what you can let your customer know. If they don't get their package by the time they're expecting it, they can go to the post office and the post office can check their internal system and it will be there. <clears throat> Uh, Jeff says, disclaimer, ShipSaver does not insure all countries and they do not insure phones. Correct. ShipSaver does not insure all countries. I actually have all of the countries that ShipSaver doesn't insure. I have those countries blocked because the way I look at it is if an insurance company decides that those countries aren't safe to ship to, like they're not going to cover it, I don't need to be shipping there. So even when I did my own international shipping and I shipped worldwide, um, I had all the countries that shipped saver wouldn't insure blocked. Uh, is the cha-ching sound gone from eBay apps on our phones? No, it's not. Why would that happen? Something's wrong with your phone. Maybe uninstall, reinstall, check your notifications. <clears throat> Could you do more videos on how to take appliances like juicers apart, like your early video? Um, sure. Uh, I can. I can do a video about the two juicers I bought, if you want me to do that. I will do a parting out a juicer video and how I do research. So I'll do that for you and anybody else that wants to watch. But I don't know when I get to it. I have all kinds of ideas about videos that I don't even get out, and I already feel like I'm doing way too many videos. You're going to be like, her again? Oh, my gosh. Would she freaking go away? Okay. Here are two pairs of shoes. Here's one. Here's the other. Only shoes in there. That I picked up at Goodwill, and they cost me $12.99 a piece. And I didn't do a lot of research on them. I only know that Asics is generally a good brand, but I could have been wrong because some of them retail for like $40 and some of them retail for like $180. These were very good on the bottoms as far as condition of the soles. They're not worn out or anything. And the inserts looks pretty good and they didn't have any holes and you can't really judge an ASICS insert. Like, you see how the name is on there? You can't really judge if the ASICS is on there as saying how new the shoe is. Because I'm an ASICS wearer. I am. I've been wearing ASICS for the past five years. And after about three wears, that comes off. It's not even there anymore. So you can't really judge based off of the ins insole uh, graphic. So let me go ahead and do the research on these because I didn't do any research on these in the store. So if they're a bad buy, I want to make sure these get back to Goodwill and somebody else can buy them. So one pair is an A6 Gel Sonoma 2. Oh, okay. All right, let me go ahead and share with you. We like to share. Sharing is caring. 
Okay, so these are the solds on the new ones. So it looks like these ones go all the way. So this is one of the higher end ASICs running shoes. <clears throat> this is the women's version of the one that I have. Let me go ahead and click on over to used. Not a lot of used. So here's the one that I have right here. $34 plus shipping. Now mine's an, actually a pretty big size. I've got a size 14 here. And I'm not sure if that is going to be a bad thing. Because generally 11 and 12 are the sizes that I want to stick to. <clears throat> um, but you got to think on a size run. They only get one size 14. So, at the store, like whenever they have a whole size run, you know, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half. So, they're only going to have one, uh, 14. So, if somebody is, if this is their shoe, and the reason why I know used Asics sell is because I will buy them. I will buy them because when I used to jog, um, I used to run in races and back in like 2011, 2012. And the ASICs that I liked, the ASICs comes out with new models every year. So, like, the models change. So, they'll be, like, a 2170 and a 22 this. and a 20, So, they go up and they change their models. Um, you find a shoe that's perfect for you, and that's the shoe that you want to stick with. And so, they end up discontinuing the shoe every year. And so, I actually have a saved search on eBay for the shoes that I wanted. They retail for $129, I believe, or $149. And I can typically buy them used where it, it I want to make sure they're not like used, like they're not being used by like a marathon runner. So you can kind of tell the different aspects of a shoe that you can, based off of the pictures, you can figure out, okay, this shoe was just used a couple times to walk around. <laughs> you know, um, I've paid, you know, like 40 bucks for them. So with ASICs and people that are runners and things like that, or if they've got a foot problem, they have a particular shoe that they like to have, and then they just kind of want to stick with it. But since it gets discontinued every year, you're kind of SOL. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put these up, <clears throat> see how they do. They're in really good condition. So yeah, I think I got a little bit of wear right here. I don't know. I might take them back. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. The next ones were barely worn. And these are Asics Gel Fuji Racer 3s. So, Fuji Racer 3. This is also a higher end uh, one that would have retailed over the $100 range. And these are a size 14 as well. So these must have been owned by the same person. There was another pair of shoes that was there that was a size 14. Oh, I'm not sharing with you. I'm not caring. Nope, no sharing, no caring. Nope, nope. So those are, there's one pair that the person keeps trying to sell like every three days. They keep doing three day listings. Um, this one keeps doing it every seven days. These are the used ones. There's only one, two pairs listed. And they're both a size 11. <clears throat> I guess I'll go. I'll just go ahead and list them. I'll just list them and see how they do. I'll put them at $39.95. Put both pairs. I'll put both pairs at $39.95 and see. They ain't going to fit in a flat rate padded envelope. That's for sure. Not in a size 14. When I was at Savers, I picked up this Mario Kart <clears throat> Connects. 
It's the ultimate building set. And I don't know if it's complete, so I'll have to figure it out. But it was only $9.99. No, it was $7.99. Woo woo. It was $7.99. And when I looked it up, I did do a little bit of research, and when I looked it up, um, we Mario Kart uh, Connects Ultimate Ultimate. I'll just put Ultimate. I put Ultimate. Ultimate. Okay, there we go. Um, when I looked it up, it appeared like even just the pieces, like individual pieces were selling. <clears throat> but if the whole thing's complete, it'll be awesome sauce. Let me go ahead and show you. Um, that's new sealed. But good use condition is coming up at $125. $91 plus shipping. That was on auction. Um... This one's mostly complete, sold for $31, plus $50 in shipping, $43. Bucks. $23 plus shipping. This one's for parts, so it's not even complete. So this person basically said, I'm not going to count these. I'm not going to make sure this stuff's there. I'm just going to say it's used, it's for parts, it's not complete. Here you go. Figure it out. So even if I did that, even though if I just opened it up and said, eh, it's just whatever, that's still $23 plus $32 in shipping. The parts on it, like you can see this one for $25 bucks for the track parts. Here's some other little pieces. So if I wanted to part it out, I kind of could. I actually have another version of this that I bought several years ago. I have the Mario Kart Bowser. Bowser. There we go. It's over in this tub right here. I've had this outside in my shed forever. I bought this three years ago maybe but it's bowser versus fireball building set and i don't know if it's complete it's got all these pieces in here i bought it for five bucks and went why did i buy this and stuck it out in the shed it's got some legos in there right there I've never taken anything out of it, so I don't even know. But used, it looks like maybe 40 bucks free shipping, 30 bucks free shipping. I could probably just do the cart. Or maybe, oh, maybe it's not Legos. Maybe those are the pieces to the back of the little car. <clears throat> I might just take the figures out and just sell the pieces for super cheap. Yeah, look, see the little guy. Hmm. I'll have to just experiment and see what I've got here. Since I've got two of them now, I've got the Bowser. Yeah, I've got the Bowser and the Ultimate Building Kit. <coughs> okay. Next up. This Freaky Deaky Koala. Okay, I paid $2.99 for this guy. He is a Wowee. And he is creepy as hell. I go voila, you go voila. I don't know how they start. I don't know how to make it. So when I was when I got him, I put him in my cart and then I guess he fell asleep. 
and he kept like snoring and it sounded like I had gas the whole time I was shopping in the rest of the store. It was like, <laughs> like <laughs> the noises are coming from my cart, like the whole time. But yeah, he's just kind of creepy, right? I've sold a Wowie before. It was a Wowie elephant. And it was really kind of neat. Am I creeping you out? So let's go ahead and look him up. No, now he's going to sleep. Let's see. Come on, screen chair. You need to be nice. Okay. Oh, now he's sleeping. So while we... Koala. I didn't look him up. I just thought he was neat. And I will do a video of him. It's definitely gonna be gonna sell better with a video. So it looks like people have him priced right about twenty five dollars. <laughs> I bet you they don't have videos though. So I'm going to go ahead and do a video of him, and then I will price him, you know, accordingly. Let's see. Wowie. Wow. we Look at those robots. Look at the robot dog. Let's see what all we might be able to find at the thrift store that we didn't know was worth money. Oh my god, that's so creepy! It's a chimpanzee face! Wall. No thanks. Alright, so here's some wowie stuff if you happen to see. This is from Sharper Image. This is a Robo Sapien. I've seen these little guys, but they didn't have their remotes. The Robo Raptors. Robo Sapien, Chip the Dog. This kid's like, why are you selling my dog? Yeah, I've seen these guys, these little dinosaurs. They just didn't have their remotes. This is so creepy. Why do you want this? It's just like half of them chimpanzee with a remote that creeps me out oh I've seen that dinosaur too but it didn't have the remote and what good is a remote control item without the remote Hmm, interesting. Hmm. So if you see any of these guys, I guess, go ahead and pick them up if they've got the remote. Like I said, I've, I've, I've seen them. I just, um, okay, you're creeping me out. I've just never found them with the remotes. I only have, like, two more things, guys, so. <clears throat> Little Einstein's pillow. This was $3.99. I don't know who's pricing this stuff, but they need to stop it. This was from Savers. Savers really overprices their fresh items. Little Einstein's Disney Store. If you can, and if you're not familiar with Little Einstein's, keep an eye out for them. It's a uh, if you can find the people, I had Leo, I sold him. If you can find the little people, I mean, look at that, $119 for four little stuffed animals. Here's a Pat Pat Rocket with the little figures in there. Um, I've never found a Pat Pat Rocket. I have found a Pat Pat ship, 
like the submarine and it was broken um oh my gosh it's halloween costume that's amazing halloween costume 83 bucks i think i sold my quincy for not enough money but if you can find the little einstein's figures these are just tiny little plastic toys a really good place to try to find these would be at like a children's consignment or if you guys have like a um kids uh garage sale swap like here in austin they have like uh, a couple times a year where they have a giant kids garage sale it's like a whole bunch of people they do it downtown and it's like this kids swap so uh, keep an eye out for little einsteins they're a really really easy kind of sell great find I think this is the one I have actually right here. So $19.99. It's battery doesn't work. I'm going to have to try to figure out if I can replace it. I have yet to figure out why companies make items that have batteries inside and they don't have an access point for you to like change the battery. It's right here. Like, so I don't know if I really have like an access point to get to it. And for the sake that it's only a $20 item, I'm just gonna probably sell it and say, you know, needs the battery replaced. And then whoever buys it, if they are crafty mom, then they can change it. I haven't looked at the chat in a long time. Okay, let's see. Do you ever wash them? No, I don't. I don't wash shoes. Why would I do that? I don't buy dirty shoes. If they smell or they're dirty or whatever, I, they can stay at the store. All I'll do is um, spray down the bottoms and brush them with a stiff brush that's it hookah girl says sometimes i get muddy shoes and i give them a wash and they sell really well yeah i don't i've never had success in just washing my own shoes um they just smell weird i don't yeah i don't i don't buy dirty stuff Uh, Iris says the founder of Nina Shoes just passed away. Um, I wish we had Savers. Must be a Texas chain. It's not. They have Savers up in. Ronnie goes to Savers. And he's in New England. Um, it's the same company as Value Village, I believe. Um, Crafty Caregiver says I have three Savers in St. Louis. We have. Um, three here there's one in south austin there's one in north central and there's one over here by my house i'm northwest like for northwest austin hatchimals are the gold these days yeah you know somebody was uh, mentioning actually one of my admins in my admin chat of the 1500 dollars room was mentioning hatchimals yesterday and, I, and i've seen them pop up in the different groups and it looks like they're only selling for about 90 dollars free shipping and i was like you know they're $55 retail. So you're kind of stressing yourself out for 20 bucks because like 25 bucks, 20 bucks because you got $90 free shipping. It's going to go priority like two, two pounds, you know, two or three pounds, depending on how much they weigh. And then $55 investment and we're coming up on November, which means, you know, prices are going to change and people are going to, I don't know. I don't like dealing with items like that, that have the opportunity to come back and stock and really bite you in the butt whenever the customer's like, hey, you know, 
I can buy this for regular price. I don't know. I don't like dealing with those kind of hot Christmas items. Um, let's see. I parted one of those out. I guess they're talking about the connects. Um, it's kind of a pain. The cards and the characters do okay. Yeah, I'm. I know it's a pain. That's why that's been sitting in my shed for three years, and I haven't touched it. All right, let's go. I only have two more things. Uh, this is a pair of Clark's men's suede, kind of soft. They're almost like a chuck -a boot without it being a boot. They're just shoes. Is there such thing as a chuck -a shoe? <laughs> anyway, these were half price. So they were $14.99 regular, and then the blue stickers were half price, so I paid $7.50 for them. Um, I did a quick search of, like, Clark suede lace-up. All I kept finding was women's stuff. I was like, for $7.50, I know I can at least minimum, you know, charge $29 for them. I don't even care, and I just threw them on my card. I, like I said, I was totally not in the look the stuff up mode yesterday at all. And let's see. I don't really see them. Mints. Casual shoes. I kind of like this, but they're not those. Not those. Yeah, I don't know, but I figured I was safe buying them for seven fifty. I'll probably price them right around thirty nine ninety five and see how they do. Um. So yeah, but they're Clark's men's, and they're a good size too. They're ten and a half. Ten and a half is a great size for a men's shoe because that's kind of like the average. That's like a women's nine, you know, where it's the average size. <clears throat> so. And then I picked up, I actually own one of these. This is a Waring Juice Extractor. It was $9.99, which is a little more than what I wanted to pay for it. But it looked clean inside, and it didn't smell gross. So whoever had it took care of it. Because sometimes you have to be careful with juicers. Open them up, because sometimes people don't clean those things out. And they're just disgusting inside. There's, like, still fruit particles in it. It's gross. Um, I went ahead and bought this to part out. This is a really good machine. Like I said, I have this machine. It's sitting in there in my kitchen. Um, but I bought it to part out. So, Iris, when I make the part out video of that Breville juicer, I'll do this one, too. So, we'll just do a... And then I'll do, like, a results follow-up. So, we'll do the video of parting it out. And then... Maybe I'll do a listing video, and then I'll do a follow-up video uh, when they sold. So, Okay. So that is that on that. And then I bought something else. Let me look it up first before I show it. Because I didn't look it up when it was in the store. I actually bought it with ulterior motives. And I need to see what brand this is. Starts with an F. Like the logo has an F on it, but like, what brand is this thing? It's not marked anywhere. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Four A F O R A Y. Um, on this tri binder. That didn't bring up anything. That's not bringing it up. F O R A Y. Yep. Oh, because it's looking it up in clothing. I hate it when eBay does that. Okay. For a 
later. Okay, good. Okay, so they, they don't sell for a super duper amount of money. I bought this with ulterior motives. Okay, if you watched my video, uh, my 5,000 subscriber video, I'm doing a giveaway. It's ending on Monday. Make sure to go over to the video and watch it and participate if you'd like to win a prize. I'm giving a prize away. Um, what you have to do to participate is basically I wanted people to tell me their favorite pinching pesos moment or memory or whatever. Um, and then also something that they have been putting off personally doing for themselves or buying for themselves because they just don't treat themselves. Okay, so one of the people commented that they wanted a organizer that um, they could put on their shoulder and it had places for them to put coupons and all of their notebook and this different kind of stuff. So when I was at Walgreens at the Goodwill yesterday, um, I actually found one. It's red and it has a shoulder strap and it has a pocket with pin holders and pocket holders and another pocket and it's a binder with a calculator and places to put your credit cards and a pocket to hold some money and another place over here and there's another pocket on the back basically an excellent coupon organizer um so i ended up it was 12.99 i ended up buying this not to resell i bought it um for my viewer don't start leaving me comments about how much you really want something on all my videos and then make me get all hearty heart and all the feels and then i have to go buy it for you <laughs> while i was there and i was like i wonder if this is something that she would like so i'm gonna have to contact her and see if she wants it i think it's perfect for what she described she wanted to do with it which was a coupon binder and which normally what people do with coupon binders is they put like sports card holders in there then they put coupons in there and then they have a notebook and they've got all their little like ready because i used to coupon and i'm actually getting kind of back into it um for groceries because our grocery bill is way too high um i haven't been budgeting very well so anyway i think that's the last thing i bought that's it guys that's all i got Um, do you guys have any questions before I go ahead and close out for the day? Because we're going to go ahead and go. I've been on a, a lot longer than I thought I was going to be. Over an hour. Holy cow. What the heck was I talking about? All right. I think that's it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today. Um, sorry I was a little off. I was just kind of just waking up. So, uh... Yeah, and Iris, I'll try to do the parts video for you. So, all right, everyone, thank you very much. Make sure to go over and watch the 5,000 subscriber video so you guys can enter uh, for price. All right, everybody have a really awesome day. I hope you're having great sales. Bye.